Hi kids, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. Not tonight, we're shooting in 720 because we're using the new mobile G3 to do two things. Show you a follow up video uh, and uh, do some testing using PowerDirector and seeing how quick this old MediaTek processor can render it. Tonight we're talking about this thing. It's the Keepeak keyboard vacuum. Sounds like a jet engine when you fire it up. And it works pretty good. I'm using it right now, painting the keyboard down here. Now the reason I bought this primarily was because I really did want to keep my Artec Bluetooth keyboard in super good condition and make sure no ashes or crumbs or any other debris got into it. So let's talk about a Samar right after the intro. All right, folks, uh, this is the vacuum itself. Of course, it comes with a couple of detachable nozzles. The only one I'm currently using is this. There's one that looks like uh, the old narrow nozzle. You've got a dust cover that comes off here, which you just spin. Well, normally. And lift up. And inside, you've got a dust collector. I just cleaned this and changed the filter last night. It's relatively easy. It came with two filters. The third one wasn't anything I'd want to use. It looked way too big. I could see through it. But the second one, which was quite filthy, I'm reaching for it now, is now shiny and clean again. Very easy to change, just a piece of foam, you rinse it out, get all your crap out of it, and let it air dry. Uh, this thing will run off of a USB uh, micro connector as far as charging it goes. And uh, works quite well. Takes about, I don't know, I'll use it for about two days, three days. Depends on how much I'm using it. And uh, I would say, if anyone asks, is it worth your money? Definitely. So check the links in the description below. And, uh, Give us some feedback, tell us what you think, and remember, check the entire description below and you will find out how long this took to actually render on the new mobile G3 that we're shooting on, which is why we're shooting at 720p, uh, just for consistency's sake, because the front camera shoots 720, the back does do 1080, but we just decided to leave it at one level and then we're going to go into power director and render it might be a cool deal i will tell you in that description how long it took thanks for watching and remember to like and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down leave feedback share the video subscribe to our channel and do all those other good things so we can keep buying kind of strange items that, well, actually have some use around the house. Thanks for watching.